Some residents in Piccoli Ranch are up in arms over a proposal to shut down a main thoroughfare as part of a school expansion. Tonight, they met with the CEO of Faith Lutheran to talk about options, but didn't come away with much of an agreement. Action News reporter Jackie Heinrich has that story. Faith Lutheran Middle School and High School purchased an empty plot of land directly across the street from their current location. The plan is to move over the athletic fields, tennis courts, and build an aquatic center to better host their 1,700 students. Problem is, with homestretch roads still in place, kids will have to cross the street to get to that part of campus. Because of student safety, that is it a good idea to have a street running right through the middle of your campus? Uh, I personally don't think it's in the best interest of kids. The school's prepared to absorb the cost of the proposal to vacate the current home stretch road and move it south by 642 feet, building a brand new road. But residents who have been using the street since the 90s are not liking that plan. We are the ones that uh, have invested here. We've been here 20 years. And so we're looking to keep the good continuity with the neighbors that we have and do the right thing. But let's be practical and use something that's easily done. Residents in the developments that use Homestretch have suggested a tunnel or a bridge for students that would allow them to keep the arterial. But folks at Faith Lutheran say while it's a good idea, you have to think like a kid. They're going to take the quickest route from A to B, and that will always be running across the street. We think the bill's going to be about 1.85 million now to move that road. So yeah, it's a significant cost to the school. But again, if a life is saved, none of us will ever regret spending that money. Jackie Heinrich, Channel 13, Action News. Faith Lutheran officials say before they close home stretch, the new road will be in place, but again, it's just a proposal. There's another meeting on June 10th to talk about the options.